Hi everyone, welcome back. So this week we're talking about cheese. So I like to begin by talking about the way that cheese should be handled. Cheese should be kept in the refrigerator and stored in cold storage. When you're ready to eat cheese, or if you're thinking about preparing a cheese plate, then the best flavor would be cheese that has come to room temperature for about 30 minutes. When you're putting together your cheese plate, you may want to have a variety of different types of cheeses. Pair it with some fruit. Um, right now, we have very nice apples, so some apple slices on your cheese plate, and then maybe an assortment of crackers. Now, some of you may be wondering, what happens if a cheese goes moldy? Does that need to be thrown away? Well, if it happens to be a hard cheese and it goes moldy, you can use a paring knife and remove the mold uh, by about one inch around that area and then discard the mold and the cheese should be fine. If it is a soft cheese or a shredded cheese and it goes moldy, then you're going to have to throw it away because we're worried about introducing wild mold which can diffuse into the rest of the cheese. If you happen to have some leftover cheese and you're not going to be using it right away, hard cheeses can be wrapped up and then kept in the freezer. Once the cheese has been frozen, it will become more crumbly, so a good use for that leftover cheese that's been previously frozen would be to break it up into small pieces or to grate it and then use it in a sauce or in something else where you need grated cheese. So let's take a look over here. Something that I'm going to be showing you is the difference between processed cheese slices and natural cheddar. So I've just cut up some slices of natural cheddar and I'm going to be putting that into my little oven under the broiler to make open face cheese sandwiches. So we'll do that and then come back and take a look at what happens. So these just came out of the oven. I broiled these slices of cheese on the bread for about three minutes under the broiler. And on this side, I have the processed cheese slice. And if you look at it, it seems to have melted fairly evenly. It almost has a plastic appearance on top. On this side is the natural cheddar that has melted. And if you look at it closely, you can almost see some oil separation. So let's taste it and see if there's a difference with the processed cheese. Nice even melt, not much flavor. And the natural cheddar, much more pronounced cheese flavor as you would expect. Let's take a look at the ingredient list of both of these cheeses. On top here are the ingredients for cheddar cheese. It's a very short list made up of milk, cheese culture, salt for flavoring, and nettle color, which comes from the seeds of the acciote tree that's grown in tropical areas. Renin is the enzyme to make cheese, and calcium chloride, which is a firming agent. Down here, you'll notice a much longer list of ingredients for the processed cheese slices. Some of these compounds are emulsifiers, things that are responsible to help with spreadability and meltability, and most processed cheese slices will have upwards of up to 40% moisture. So that would explain why the open face sandwich made with the processed cheese slices is smoother in appearance and has melted a little bit more than the cheddar cheese. So the key things to remember when you're preparing foods that has cheese in it is to shred the cheese and to cook it for a short time under low to moderate temperature. If you overcook cheese, it will toughen, it will become stringy, and the fat will separate. Bye for now.